All right, so if you guys have been following along on my channel, we've been busy working on uh, a donor chassis for one of our cute little cars. Stella's bored with the whole operation. But we've been chopping up this 2005 Matrix and using it as a chassis donor for one of the micro cars. And a couple things, um, this car is approximately five, five and a half feet wide. Most micro cars are only four feet wide. So that means it's gotta get cut right about a foot on each side, really, to make the body go over. Um, this car is automatic, doesn't really impress me. I'm not a big, huge automatic guy. I did find to keep this car running that the fuel pump is grounded through a wire that was way back here on the, um, I guess it'd be the C channel. So car wouldn't start and I was like, why not? And uh, I had to reground this here to the emergency brake area. So if you're tearing up your matrix and you can't figure out why it won't start because the fuel pump won't kick on, it doesn't have a ground because you took out the C, C, C pillar. <laughs> so in my quest to find a suitable body for this car, I've got a couple. Uh, I've been hanging out in the shop for some time and I have a, a new prospect it's behind this door. What do you think it is? Let's open door number one and figure it out. Here we go. Ha ha! Oh, the door won't stay up. What do we have here? Uh, it's not a Renault 4CV. It's a German car. Anybody have a guess? This hood ornament should give it away. It's kind of a double goat hook, meat hook, what they, what they call it. Now, this is a Lloyd. It's a Lloyd Alexander 600 wagon or combi. You can see it says Alexander there. I've just been doing an inventory. It's a pretty rough car, but it's basically the same size. The wheelbase is a little shorter. Um, and since I'm going to cut the matrix wheelbase anyhow, I might as well make it another five inches shorter and utilize this car. Uh, it's perfect. Look. It has a plywood floor for the driver's seat, which is perfectly fine. There's a plywood floor back there for the passengers that are going to ride in the back. That's perfectly fine, and there's no floors here at all. So this car is built on a spine. In other words, there's a big main tube that connects the lateral springs in the back and the lateral springs in the front. And what I mean by that is they're transverse. In this hood. This car has no engine. The steering rack is seized. It needs brakes. It needs everything. Absolutely everything. So it might be a perfect donor. And this hood is really beat up. It's got a huge bend in it here and a tear here, uh, which is actually okay because I happen to have a spare hood. I don't have spare hood hinges, but I've got a spare hood. I just cleaned out the car to do some inventory. I've got a spare hood, a spare back gate, which I'm missing the handle and glass, and then two quarter glasses. My quarter glass looks pretty good. My fenders are beat. My door has got a big dent in it and missing the handle and the seal is not so good. So that door is a winner and the hood is a winner. Ah, the fenders I'm just gonna have to beat out. So uh, we'll see. This is a real beauty. It's got patina. I'm trying to be positive here. It's got sweet door panels with lots of organic matter. I don't think I'll feel too bad cutting out the bottom of this car and setting it onto the new Matrix body. I do really like the steering wheel and I do like the dash. I don't know that I can save those. The windshield is junk, of course. But the roof is good and the rest of it can be kind of cleaned up. I think it'll be fine. So, all right, that's where I'm going with this. Um, like I said, it's very similar in size to the 4CV. The only thing I don't know about is the shock towers on the Matrix, which are sort of set, are going to be right, like literally right underneath here. Um, and that will determine my ride height. So I don't know if I'm going to have to cut out here and put a spacer, which I hate to do, but I don't want the thing looking like a four-wheel drive. So, all right, well, I'm going to start cleaning up both cars today, and we'll see where we get. Follow along, and... Uh, and we'll see if we can make something good out of both these cars. 
Again, this is a 57 Lloyd Alexander Combi, named after a guy. It's a 600, or it originally had a 600 four-stroke overhead cam, two-cylinder engine, which I had and was going to repair this car. Uh, you can see the seats are over here. I got extra seat springs with wooden frames. I got extra wheels. I actually bought a set of tires, which are really hard to find. I have the back seat, but you know what? It's just, uh, it's just rough. I think I just to start over. And I think that's a great chassis in there to, to start with. Okay, follow along. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.